What was your reaction whenever you found out that you got Big 12 Newcomer of the Week? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I mean, you know, being acknowledged and, and you know, uh, being recognized for my play, it means a lot. Scale of 1 to 10, what was the back defensive backfields play last week? Um, let's say a seven. We passed. I mean, we, we had some miscommunications that, you know, we got away with, but, you know, we got to fix that. So. What does it change without having Kobe Savage back there now? Uh, it means a lot. Not just, you know, his play, but his energy that he brings and stuff like that. You know, his confidence that he brings to the game. So, uh, we're going to have to step up without him. Without Kobe back there, Coach, Coach Clyde talked a little bit about how you guys are able to rotate in. You know, maybe you slide over there and play a little bit of his spot. VJ Payne comes in. Yeah. Is there going to be more of an emphasis focused on communication this week during practice? Absolutely, because you know Kobe's a big communicator out there. That's another thing we're going to miss uh, without him being out there. But uh, that's on us. You know, us in the safety room to step up uh, communication-wise, play-wise. So. You know, we got big shoes to fill with Kobe missing. Does it assist the communications ever when you're playing in a second consecutive road game? Uh, yes. I mean, communication is big on the road because, you know, uh, you know the crowd and stuff like that. So, I mean, our fans are loud, you know, because it's just, you know, you got to be good, good communicators on the field at all times. You guys are 3-1 and one on the road, right? And Coach said he wants a little bit more consistency since he added the defense. Mm -hmm. How do you become more consistent? I know that's kind of hard to maybe answer, but what are you looking for for this game against West Virginia? Um, you know, just playing, you know, a good solid game, you know, stopping the run because they, they, uh, they really lean into their run game. That's how their offense really really gets going. And then eliminate the big plays and explosive plays. I feel like when we eliminate explosive plays, we're a good defense. So, Have you got to prepare for a uh more running game more with Garrett Green possibility playing? Uh, yes, he's very talented uh, running the ball. He's like another running back back there, so uh, we're we're expecting him to play as well. So we didn't get to talk to you after the the Baylor game, mm -hmm. but how exciting was it for you to kind of be able to, to ice the game with with the pick there at the end? Uh, it felt good. I mean, uh, ending the game, I wanted to return it, but you know the smart thing to do is to take the knee, so I took the knee. So yeah, it, was, it felt good. Were you told not to return it? Seemed like you stayed on your feet a little bit longer before you decided to go down. Yeah, I, I, in my head, I was thinking return it, uh, and then I seen everybody on the sideline. You know, take the knee. Take the knee. I was like, all right, I'll take the knee. So you know, so it ties the game for sure. So how do you guys make up for the loss of Kobe moving forward here? Uh, you know, just communicating and, uh, you know, stepping up. We got guys and veteran guys in that room. So, I mean, Kobe is definitely going to be missed. He's definitely going to be, you know, uh, uh, it hurts us. But, you know, we got veteran guys in this room, in the room that's ready to step up for sure.